Okay, here's what we got. Here's your transmission lines, the cooler lines. They come in, out of the transmission. There's an inlet and an outlet. It's a 3.0, 3 liter um, engine. Here is basically all you need is this disconnect tool here. Different fittings, different sizes. Goes right on the transmission line. Goes in, in behind the plastic piece there. And you tap this in with a hammer and this will pop right out. And a set of pliers on the other end. Boom. Right here, I don't know if you can really see that. You got a clip here. Simply open that up and bring it back. Here's my line disconnected right here. It comes right out of here. I'm gonna pull up the old line. Got a brand new one from the factory. So I've got the new one lined up and it just popped right in there. See how that went right in? And now it's sealed. I replaced both of the uh, lines. The top one was rusted out, but the bottom one, I didn't want to come back in here. Basically, I got to just put back on the battery support. I'll show you that. I want to make it start it up before I put everything back and make sure I don't have any leaks down there. It's hard to see, but I don't see anything coming out. So I feel pretty good. Whoop, there goes the, the battery support, I guess. Uh, so that's basically looks pretty tight. And then the line, check the line over there. Make sure nothing's coming up there. So it looks pretty good to me. There's no apparent leaks anywhere right where I would check here. These two points right where I connected it and uh, underneath I fastened it with a zip, zip tie. And we just got to put this support bracket back on. There's only two bolts. Put the middle bolt in first. Tighten that and then get the other one. It's easier to get at. bolt here on the inside with the sock and the ratchet. Reverse procedure here, but this goes here. So here's the, the battery supports on there nice. All the lines are intact. I'm gonna bring in the battery support, the other battery support, and then this just clicks in here. Here's your electrical. And the battery goes back in and then there's just a bolt to hold that in place. Right there, boom. I don't know if you can see that. This keeps it in place. Battery should 
be all set here. I just start it up, double check, make sure there's no leaks. I don't think so. Look down there. No leaks. Whoop. That's where that socket went, huh? Uh, come over here. Pull up. Fill up the transmission fluid. Right in the dipstick. That's where it goes, right where the dipstick comes out. I'm going to let that settle down and make sure there's enough fluid in there. I'm sure there isn't, but I just put two quarts in, and this dipstick goes right in that tube. And that's where you fill it up. There's just an additional spot here. What you want to be concerned about is where the hoses come out, they attach underneath here, over here. Actually, you can see them through here a little better from this, this perspective. There's two, two hoses right here, and then you just, I just pulled out, it was actually this one up here. Just pull that hose off and connect it. Pull the top hose off right here with this, with the pliers. And believe it or not, look at this car. It's got 293,335 miles. So it's really a work vehicle for me. And it's running like a charm. I'm just making sure I take care of some of the basic components. The ignition coil here, plugs, wires, and stay on top of those leaks. Uh, I know this isn't related to health and fitness, but it's definitely a mental health thing for me. Because I need to get back to work. So if I can't use my work vehicle, I can't get to work, I'm unhealthy. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Oh, one last thing I forgot to mention. So there's the, um, the actual line, the uh, cooler transmission line. And I forgot to mention that um, the reason I got suspicious or knew I had an issue with the transmission is because when I went around the corner, it kind of cut out a little bit. So when you go around corners and the engine's not working properly, or you, the, the, uh, it seems to cut out on you, you want to check your, uh, start checking your fluids. Thanks. Bye-bye.